This is a tutorial on solving special systems. Say we were given a linear system containing the equations 3x plus 4y is equal to 16 and 6x plus 8y was equal to 16. Well I could solve this using elimination. I would just multiply our first equation by negative 2 and we would get a negative 6x minus 8y is equal to negative 32 and then I would just rewrite our second equation 6x plus 8y is equal to 16 add our equations and we'd end up with a 0x plus 0y is equal to negative 16 well this doesn't make any sense 0 plus 0 can't equal negative 16 so let's graph these and see if we can figure out what's going on well to graph them I'm first going to rewrite both of these in slope intercept form. So the first one, 3x plus 4y equal to 16. I'm going to move the 3x over by subtracting 3x from both sides. We'll get 4y is equal to a negative 3x plus 16. Divide everything by 4 and we'll get y is equal to a negative 3 fourths x plus 4. Well to graph that we have a y-intercept of 4 so we go to 4 on our axis on the y, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is right there. And then our slope is a negative 3 fourths, so we would go down 3 and over 4 until we get a point right there. And then we connect our points and we get a line that looks like that. So let's try our next equation, 6x plus 8y is equal to 16. Again, I'm going to move the x over, so I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. We get 8y is equal to a negative 6x plus 16. Divide everything by 8 to get y alone. We get y is equal to a negative 3 fourths x plus 2. Well, to graph that, we go to a positive 2 on the y-axis, because that's our intercept, which is right there. And then down 3 and over 4, point right there, connect our points, and we get a line that looks like that. Well, notice that these lines are parallel. They never intersect. They have the same slopes, so we know that they're parallel, and since they don't intersect, that's why we couldn't find a solution before. So whenever we have parallel lines, we know that that system of equations has no solution. Let's try this again with a different system. Here we have 2x minus 2y is equal to 10 and a negative 5x plus 5y is equal to a negative 25. Well again I can solve this by eliminating. I'm going to multiply the first equation by 5 and the second equation by 2 and we're going to get 10x minus 10y is equal to 50 and then our second equation will be a negative 10x plus 10y is equal to a negative 50. And then if I add those together, I get a 0x plus a 0y is equal to 0. Well, 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. That makes sense. But it doesn't tell us anything about x or y. So let's solve these or graph them and see what they look like. Maybe we can figure out what's going on. So our first equation, 2x minus 2y is equal to 10. I'm going to move the x over by subtracting 2x from both sides. And we're going to get a negative 2y is equal to negative 2x plus 10. Divide everything by a negative 2. And we get y is equal to 1x minus 5. Well to graph that, our y-intercept is negative 5, so we go to negative 5 on the y-axis, which is right there. And then our slope is just a 1, so we go up 1 and over 1, up 1 and over 1. We get another point right there. We connect our points, and our graph looks something like that. So let's try our second equation. Minus 5x plus 5y is equal to a negative 25. I'm going to move the x over by adding 5x to both sides. We'll get a 5y is equal to 5x minus 25 
Divide everything by 5, and we get y is equal to 1x minus 5. Well, that's the same equation we had before. If I graph this second line, I'm just going to draw another line right on top of this red one. So these two equations are actually the same equation. Well, that means that every point in the first equation is also a point for the second equation. So we would say that this system, since both lines are the same, has infinite solutions. Well, now we've learned about three different types of linear systems. We have the kind that intersect in one spot and have one solution. We have the ones that are drawn on top of each other, or they're the same equation, so they have infinite many solutions. And then we have the parallel lines that never intersect and have no solutions. Well, these are called consistent and independent systems, consistent and dependent systems, and then inconsistent systems. Our consistent and independent systems have just one solution. And then our consistent and dependent systems have infinite solutions. And then our inconsistent systems have no solutions. Now, the way to remember this is that if it's consistent, that means it has at least one solution. It can have more, but it has to have at least one for it to be consistent. And then independent just means that our equations are different. And then dependent would mean that the equations are the same. And then if it has no solutions, which means it's not consistent, then it would just be inconsistent. Now there's some important things we need to recognize here in these types of systems. If we have a consistent and independent system, that means that our two equations have different slopes and different y-intercepts. Our consistent and dependent solutions have the same slope and the same y-intercept. And then our inconsistent systems have the same slope but different y-intercepts. So knowing that, we can use the information about the slopes and the y-intercepts to classify our systems. So let's try doing that. Here we're given two different systems of equations, and we're asked to classify them. Notice we're not asked to solve them, we're just asked to classify. So all I'm going to do is rewrite these in slope-intercept form, and look at their slopes and their y-intercepts, and try to determine what kind of system they are. So our first one is 2x minus 5y is equal to 5. I'm going to move the 2x over by subtracting. So we'll get a negative 5y is equal to a negative 2x plus 5. Divide by a negative 5 across the whole equation. And we get y is equal to 2 fifths x minus 1. And then our second equation is a negative 10x plus 25y is equal to 25. Again, I'm going to move the x over, so I'm going to add 10x to both sides. And we get 25y is equal to 10x plus 25. Divide everything by 25. And we get y is equal to 2 fifths x plus 1. So let's look at our two equations. Right away we can see that they have the same slope, which means they're not consistent and independent. They have different y-intercepts, so since these two equations have the same slope but different y-intercepts, we know that these are parallel lines. So if they're parallel lines, that would mean they're inconsistent. Let's try this again. Here we have 3x plus 4y is equal to 12, and a negative 3x plus 4y is equal to 12. I'm just going to rearrange these into slope-intercept form. So the first one, 3x plus 4y equal to 12. I'm going to move the 3x over by subtracting, and we're going to get 4y is equal to a negative 3x plus 12. Divide everything by 4, 
and we get y is equal to a negative 3 fourths x plus 3. And then our second equation, negative 3x plus 4y is equal to 12. Add 3x to both sides to move the x over. And we'll get 4y is equal to 3x plus 12. Divide by 4. And we get y is equal to positive 3 fourths x plus 3. Well, these two equations have the same y-intercept, but they have different slopes. And since they have different slopes, that means that these are two different lines that intersect once. So this is a consistent and independent system. And that completes our tutorial on solving special systems.